Hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Mafa and I'm a data analyst. And for today's video, I will be sharing to you about data analytics roadmap that might help you in knowledge to kickstart your career in data analytics field. And of course, this is based on my beginner experience. Okay, so currently I'm working as a data analyst and I'm also creating data content in TikTok. So actually, this video is based on your frequently asked questions from your comments on my TikTok and my YouTube, so I, I really hope you enjoy this one. So first thing first, to become data analyst, we need more skills, right? Most of the company requires you to have an SQL skills, but few of them just need an Excel expert. Uh, furthermore, they need a people who can visualize their data and help the business decision making. So you will need more skills like dashboarding, uh, reporting, data visualization, business understanding, statistical, or like uh, basic of math. Mm, do we need a Python on our daily basis? Actually, no, but I think it's a really good thing uh, for you if you do understand more language other than SQL. And how to get those skills? Okay, you can have so many options to improve your skills, but the point is just by learning and practicing. You can have related educational backgrounds such as math or statistics, but if you really really don't have related educational background like I am, actually I came from agriculture and now I work as a data analyst, you can have uh, online courses on the internet, you can watch uh, YouTube videos, you can listen to podcasts or reading books or articles that suit your uh, budget, uh, learning style, and your, of course your needs to switch career or start your career in data analytics field. I believe now we have so many online courses on the internet, so I think it's easy for you to learn data analytics. After getting to know the skills and knowledge for data analytics, you will need hands-on experience to implement your data analytics knowledge into your project. You can try various uh, free resources such as Google BigQuery for SQL, uh, Google Studio for dashboarding, or Google Collab for Python, and other free tools. I recommend this one, uh, these tools, because it's free and really simple for beginners to learn, and it's all online, so you don't need to install anything. You can also try freelance project, uh, internship, or even your personal data challenge. And you can post your project to GitHub, LinkedIn, and other uh, platform that you can use to post your projects or portfolio. Besides a portfolio, you can also consider to get a professional certificate for data analyst. I think it will help your credibility to get a job in data analytics field. And this might not as strong as work experience, but it will convince the recruiters that you have already learned and passing the certification exam even though you're a newbie. You can consider a more reputable certification for data analytics like Google or Microsoft and you can search it on the internet. Going on the next step, now we're talking about networking or joining a community in data analytics. I think this is a really good addition for your data analyst journey by, by attending local events or just participating in industry forums, you can engage more with fellow data enthusiasts, you can seek mentors, and you can learn from experienced professionals. They can help you if you face any difficulties in learning data and you can help them as well so you're getting better at your skills. You can discuss, you can create more complex projects together or you can collaborate in GitHub or something. This will help you uh, getting more positive feedbacks and environment for your data analysis journey. For job search and career growth, I believe data analysts have so many career growth and opportunities. My recommendations are if you're currently a student, try to get an internship in data analyst and as much as experience as you can. Or if you're currently just switched to data analyst and you have no data background at all, you can start applying from uh, entry level position or beginner position. And you can also improve your interview strategies or you can discuss your resume or portfolio and getting a feedback. 
So now we're at the end of the video and up until now I have already shared a little bit about my background, data analysis skills and how to get those skills, certificate projects, community and networking and last but not least career growth and opportunity in data analysis. So I hope this video is insightful to you and don't forget to set up your goals and please please if you have any questions regarding data analysis just drop your comments below and if you're excited to see this kind of video more often for me please kindly support me by like and subscribe my channel thank you and see you